Hey everyone, I am here to make some fun lemonade drinks. Um, and there's like a bazillion different drinks that we could make. So I'm gonna show you a couple different methods and just kind of fill you in on a few of my favorite flavors. And we'll talk about um, some of the different tea types. So I do have a lemonade steeping here that I made um, yesterday. And so what I typically do is I just cold steep. So I've got my lemonade. I usually make my own lemonade, but I mean, you can buy your lemonade, make it from concentrate or whatever you usually do. I'm gonna turn my kettle off here. Um, so what I did, made my lemonade. I've got a little bit left over here. Um, and I usually just use a half a cup of lemonade to a half a cup of sugar to about just under two liters of water or so. And I find that perfect. So the first one, and this is probably one of my most favorites, although I definitely haven't tried this with all of the teas that I could, um, but one of my favorites at Starbucks is their peach green tea lemonade. Absolutely love that. I find it super, super refreshing. So what I did, and I've done this a few different ways. I shared a recipe yesterday, and so that one had um, the peaches and cream white tea, which is very similar to a green tea um, steeped in lemonade. And that is very, very good. That's been a staple of mine for like the last four years. But we've come out with so many more peach teas and I, I am a big peach tea fan. Um, so what I did was I took a scoop of the um, peachy keen, nope, not peachy keen, the um, peach schnapps fruit tea, which is delicious. It's quite tropical. It has like peaches and mangoes and pineapple and papaya and it's got all kinds of good like tropical fruits in it and it's very peachy so i took a scoop of that and i took a scoop of the peaches and cream white tea and mixed together so it kind of made like that um, it gave it a little bit of that traditional tea um, flavor as well so i steeped that overnight and i just used a steeping sack i used a cup that i've got easy peasy i just draped that over the edge threw it in the fridge so I'm just gonna add some ice to that and we're gonna give it a taste. And that is like, that right there is the easiest way to make a cup of this. If you wanna make that the night before and have it in your fridge ready to go in the morning, if you wanna take that to work or just take in the car if you gotta go somewhere or sip on all day at your office at home or whatever. Let's give this a try. Oh, it is probably my top favorite one. So peachy keen, um, and I did add the white tea in there. You wouldn't have to. I've made this many times with just the peachy keen tea steeped. I keep saying peachy keen. Peach schnapps, I'm getting them mixed up. It's the peach schnapps tea. And right, I forgot, since it's Friday, this is definitely a match made in heaven. So I've got a bottle of good old Dr. McGillicuddy in my cupboard. So I'm gonna add a shot of peach schnapps to it. And we're just gonna make it even peachier and have a nice Friday cocktail or two shots. All right, now let's try it. We'll give it a little mix. Then I've got a nice tea cocktail to sip on while we chat. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's amazing. So now we're gonna make a pitcher of an iced tea lemonade. And I'm gonna just show you how I make that with, I just threw, I throw in my lemonade ingredients, my tea and everything all at once. And we're gonna do with hot water. We're gonna do a hot steep. Cause this is if you wanna make it and have it ready to sip in like half an hour. You can make it quick. Like I said, I'm generally a um, overnight steeper, but this works just as well. Um, I just have to grab my half cup measure. which is actually clean, it's a miracle. Um, and I'm gonna put a half a cup of organic cane sugar. Of course you can use any sugar, but I use the organic cane sugar for my kombucha, so I have always got this on hand. And so if I'm making any sort of drinks, I usually use that sugar, um, just because it's just a little bit healthier. Uh, so half a cup of that. And then we're gonna do half a cup of lemon juice. And that makes a fairly sweet lemonade, like I said. So some people only do like a third of a cup. Sometimes I do that. Or if I'm using a tea that I know is a little bit sweeter, um, like, you know, our color changing teas, those ones are quite sweet. I always have to knock back the sugar if I'm using those ones. 
Okay, and then what kind was I going to make here, guys? Um, strawberry lime daiquiri, that might be good. Citrus mint sangria, <laughs> magical mango. Oh, strawberry, let's do strawberry. So I've got the strawberry jam in fruit tea because you can't go wrong with a strawberry lemonade, right? Now, when I typically make a pitcher, like a two liter pitcher of an iced fruit tea, I always use three scoops, like three of these pot scoops, which is like a tablespoon and a half each. Um, because when you're making an iced tea with these, it's like a fruit infusion, right? It's like an infused water. And so if you put two scoops, it's probably not gonna be strong enough. But when you're making it sweet like this, um, especially in the lemonade, you don't need to use three. Two is gonna give you a lot of flavor um, because sweetness will really, really amp up your flavors. So if you ever make an iced tea and you don't add any sweetener and you're like, mm, it just needs a little something, you know, you might need more tea, but you also might just wanna add a little bit of sweetener. And like when I'm making myself a cup of iced tea, I typically do like them unsweetened, but if I just, if it's a, a fruit tea that's maybe a little bit tart, I will add like maybe a couple teaspoons of a simple syrup or honey or something like that. You really don't need much and it just kind of amps up, the, sharpens up those flavors a little bit. Okay, back to the lemonade. I've got my water hot. So this is the perfect tea pitcher that I'm using here. It is, um, it is safe to use with hot water. You just wouldn't want to throw it in the fridge right away. Um, or you might run into some trouble. And if you haven't seen this picture before, this one, um, it has the strainer right in the lid. So you put your lid on, you leave your tea leaves right in there. Um, it's our favorite for making sangrias and our overnight iced teas, our, our cold brew stuff. Um, if you're gonna hot steep, a green tea or a black tea or something like that, that's not gonna work because you need to remove those tea leaves. So um, some of our other pitchers are better for that method, but I hardly ever do that. I usually, I usually just cold steep it all the time. Just a cold brew situation. So this, I would let steep now for, you cannot over steep a fruit tea. So honestly, I usually just put it on the counter and like walk away and sometimes it's half an hour, sometimes it's four hours, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you could let that steep, like on the package it's gonna tell you to steep for four minutes. Um, but I would suggest when you're making an iced tea, do it longer, give it at least 20 minutes or so, then load your pitcher up with ice cubes once it's not super hot, you don't wanna crack it. Um, load it up with ice cubes, add a couple lemon slices, and it's good to go. So, but I'm gonna let that steep for a little while. So that, that's how you can make an easy and a quick one. Um, and like some favorites, I was gonna grab the catalog here. Um, you don't just have to use the fruit teas, you can pretty much use any tea. And I actually really enjoy using some of the green teas and some of the black teas. We, and I like the fruity ones personally, but you could use say like a traditional black tea in there, like, um, English breakfast and just have a nice black tea lemonade. Really, really super refreshing. Um, and you can make you can make lemonade and you can mix your matcha into your lemonade and make flavored lemonades with your matcha. And that is really, really delicious as well. Personally, I don't think I would use the naturally sweet teas because I think that would be too sweet. You'd have to really knock back the sugar. Um, okay, the berry mojito, I think I've shared that recipe. Green tea, that one is amazing. Um, and I keep forgetting to try the grapefruit mimosa black tea, but that one sounds like it has some amazing potential. Um, we have a citrus mint sangria fruit tea, amazing. Add a couple lemon and lime slices in there and some fresh mint if you've got fresh mint in your garden this summer. And you have a beautiful, like nice mojito. You could add some rum to that and have a great happy hour patio sip. Um, but yeah, I could go on and on about the teas. And when it comes to the fruit teas, pretty much any of them are really, really excellent. The berry mania, the magical mango, the strawberry like we've used here, the peach, the raspberry cosmopolitan is to die for. Um, so many favorites. So we're gonna just let that steep. And then I'll have that a little bit later. Now, the only other thing that I'm gonna show you is um, the tea press, because I use this a lot. Um, for making these as well and just for making my iced teas in general 
and I might have shared this on another video too, but so the T-Press is just the typical press. It has like your mesh screen on the bottom. Um, actually, why don't we just make one up here? Um, and so I'm gonna pick a tea. I wonder if I should try this strawberry lime. How about I try the Hawaiian pineapple sangria? I think that will be lovely. Another tropical one. I like my tropical drinks. I did say I was gonna sip. Oh yes, so good. Okay, so in this tea press, this tea is ridiculous, you guys, it's so good. It has these great big giant pieces of um, pineapple that like totally hydrate when they steep overnight. Love it, I love the big chunks in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put like two good heaping scoops of my tea in there. And then I'm just gonna add in my cold lemonade. See if I've got enough here. Oh yeah, pretty bang on. And now with this thing here, you can, it just kind of will sit on the side. So you can put this in and it's a tight enough fit that this will just sit there. You can put the lid down, screw the lid on, but keep this up and then just throw that in your fridge and leave it in your fridge overnight or like at least four hours in the morning. You can just plunge that down, push those tea leaves to the bottom and sip away. And this is double walled, so you're gonna have nice cold tea to sip on all day. Um, the matcha shaker, that would be another great cup if you've got that to use um, for making your overnight teas in and you could just use a steeping sack. So the steeping sacks are an easy way to make a nice tea just Honestly, put a good scoop of your tea in there, cold steep it overnight in your lemonade, in your water, whatever you wanna steep it in. And with these, you get a box of 100, and they are biodegradable, made of hemp. So there we go. That is some easy um, iced tea, lemonade, steeping. Now, I didn't get too into the different Starbucks flavors, but I am gonna be doing that more in my VIP group is kind of do the copycats. Um, we have done the dragon fruit one. Um, now off the top of my head, of course, I can't think there's the strawberry, acai. Uh, my kids are always right on top of that. So I'll have to get the, their help and we can check out the Starbucks menu and then we're gonna kinda do the copycat recipes, which, um, depending on if we have a tea that is going to work. Um, the one that I've made for years, and this, unfortunately, it's a seasonal tea that we only have in the winter, but our winter sangria fruit tea is phenomenal, and it's exactly like the Starbucks passion tea. So I figured out that it tasted just like the passion tea lemonade, which was always my favorite drink at Starbucks, um, aside from the peach green tea. Um, so when I discovered that, I was super excited, but it is a seasonal tea, so it's not available right now. And I do have a couple bags, but I always keep them stashed away. I don't know why I torture myself, but I don't, um, I don't drink those ones until they're back in season. So I always look forward to September when I could crack into my winter sangria tea again. So anyways, lots and lots of fun. You can use a lot of creativity. Um, and another easy way to make a lemonade, if you use like the concentrates and you just wanna make yourself a cup of it, you could just like add a good tablespoon of the concentrate to your tea press, add your cold water, mix it up, and then add your tea and steep that overnight. So delicious, simple, and super refreshing. All right guys, thanks for checking out the video and we will chat soon. Let me know if you have any questions too.